Microsoft Power Apps for Beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Microsoft Power Apps. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, Microsoft Power Apps is free, but there is a pricing plan. So let's just get over that real quick. So there's three plans, as you can see right here, the Power App Developer Plan, which is free, the Power Apps Premium, which is going to be $20 per user per month. And then we have Power Apps Premium with 2000 seat minimum this is going to be 12 dollars per user per month so this is like the basic one and this is like the most premium one the ultra one and this is for power apps plan and if you go with the related products so we can see all the other ones as well but we we're not interested in those for now we're just simply going to keep it with the power app and the free one you get three developer environments you use pre-built slash custom and non-premises connectors, Microsoft Dataverse enlightenment of two gigabytes database, for, and you can run up to 750 automations flow per month. So pretty cool. Whereas in the premium, which is the $20 premium, you get unlimited power apps and power usage for assigned users, 500 AI builder credits, pre-built custom and on-premise connectors, and Dataverse enlightenment of 250 MB database and two gigabits of files. So pretty cool. So, and in the $12 per month per user with the 2000 seat minimum, here you get unlimited power app, same as the previous ones, everything like the previous one, except that the minimum seed over here is going to be 2000 so keep that in mind so over here if you want to you know see more in depth you scroll down you'll see more features and you can see all the difference over here so you get unlimited apps within the context all right over here in the free one you only get 750 flow per month within the app context whereas in the premium accounts you get unlimited of them so yeah these were all the features that are available within these applications so now we're going to go ahead and sign up with the free app so to sign up it's actually very simple you just simply click on the get started button and over here just enter in your work or school email to get started and there you go once you've signed in this is how your dashboard is going to look like now in order to create an account you do need a work email or a student email and you can easily create an email on your Microsoft account, the first month is going to be entirely free. So let me just show you how you can do that. It's actually very simple. You come over here onto Outlook for Business, right? You come over here and you get started for free over here. You can see all the plans and pricings over here. So this is how much it is going to cost you, all right? This is the one that you are going to need. You can get this one as well. This is for the Microsoft 365 Business Account Basics, all right? This is actually pretty good. You can get this one or this one or any other one and it'll work pretty much identically. So over here, you get the work email in it. You get your own custom domain as well. That's going to allow you to sign into some different aspects of Microsoft that require work emails or student emails. So this is actually really, really good. You're going to need one of these in order to get started with the Power Apps. Now, once you have them, you can easily go ahead and sign in with your work email. And this is how it looks like. All you got to do is just type in the email on the bar and hit enter. And there we go. Now, here is where things get good. Here, you can go ahead and get started with the Power Apps and create your own applications. Now, over here is the Copilot plugin where you can go ahead and use it to create your own custom plugins as well. It uses ChatGPT 4.0 and natural language to build custom AI capabilities for your intelligent applications. On the left hand side, you will have all of your main options such as create, learn apps, tables, flow, solutions and more. Click on more, you can see all of the other options as well. You can pin all of them right here on the left hand side and you can start creating them. So if I click on websites, right, I can go ahead and create websites over here. Uh, you can see my websites are going to be over here. If you want to create a new website, you can create a new website right here by clicking on this button or this button as well. And if you want to create apps, just simply click over here. And here you can find different apps. You can start with your own data. You know, you can start with a page design or you can start with an app template as well. You can even start with Copilot, use everyday words to describe what your app should collect, track and list, and it'll, you know, create that. So if we select the Copilot option, it's going to open up this workflow. And over here, you're going to describe the tables that you want, right? So let's set up your data. In this space, you can make tables, relationships and view diagrams for your data when you're done working. So here, describe the table you want to create, right? And over here, Let's go ahead and describe it. So let's say we want to create an app to track calories, right? Let's go ahead and add that and then just hit generate and let's see what it comes up with. So I'm going to pause the video right here 
Now, after waiting for a couple of seconds, as you can see, it has generated an application for us over here. So right here, we have meals. If I click on over here and click on open data within it, you can see all of the macronutrients, all the calories and what type of meal it is right here. As you can see, right here is the suggestion. If I click over here, you can check that out as well. Now, it's as simple as that, you know, with the help of Copilot, we can easily create different applications. Now, in order to move on to the next step, all we'd have to do is click on save and open app over here. Click on save and open app. Give it a couple of seconds to open the application. And you can see it quickly takes us to the app studio where we can go ahead and customize our app and play it. So we can skip all of this. If you want to see a preview of the app, you can click over here, right? And over here, you can go ahead and press the F5 key to go ahead and preview the application. So if I click over here, this is how it looks like. And within each of these different columns, we can see we have our lunch and we can add new entries over here and delete new and delete entries and edit entries from here as well. So let's go ahead and in each of these different columns, I can go ahead and, you know, preview them and add my own stuff. So here he is, you can see on the left hand side, you have your customization option. So this is the food screen, this is a green container, and you can go ahead and edit this out. So if I click on this image container, I can go ahead and set an image for this container. So over here, it opens up. So if I click on this button, this is the image. And if I click on these three dots, I can go ahead and, you know, reorder it or delete it or customize it if I want to. And if I want to add an image, I just simply click on this plus icon. And here you can find all these other options as well. Like, you know, if you click on the display, you can find it over here in the media. You can find the image and you can drag and drop and, and paste it over here. So as you can see right here, and if you click on the image, you can update it from here as well. Like click on the edit and you can change the image to an existing media file over here, or you can select the stock image as well. So if I wanted to edit this image right here, I can just simply go ahead and click on the stock images and I can come over here and search for a specific type of image. So let's say food related image. So I'll just simply search for food. And here we have a bunch of different images. So I'll select the pizza one and click on insert. Now we have a pizza image right here. And if I wanted to edit this image or this container, I can do that as well. And I'll also set, you know, an image for all of them as well. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and go upload just stock images. So here we have calories or, you know, account. I'll just type in count. Like something like this would look good as well. So I'll just insert that since it's meals. You can go ahead and do that. And over here, or I could just change it to something else. So again, I can go with this one as well. This berries looks good. And then for this one, I'll change it to the counting or the numbers like this one. And there we go. So now we have images for each of these section. I can edit the columns and their titles, and we can even change the image container as well. This is the whole container. This is the image container. I click over here and over here, we can select the container to whatever type of container option we want. So we can have like this one, the main one, the container type, we can reorder them as well. We can even add some different codes to it. So at the top, we have our welcome screen and in it, we can go ahead and change it to whatever we want. So here we have the header and over here you have the header option as well. So over here, you can edit that as well. And if you want to add or change something specifically, you can use the copilot. So let's say add a button and over here, we'll just simply click on it, add a button, give it a couple of seconds to see what it comes up with it's working on it. And here we have the button. So now here we can move this button around whatever we want. Uh, we can undo it as well. And over here, we can increase the size of it as well. And if we want, we right click and we can change the alignment. We can reorder it. We can click on the view code to view the codes as well. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and undo it and delete that button. There we go. So yeah, pretty simple. After that, all you got to do is click on the preview app and then you are good to go. So here you will have your food section. You can go ahead and click on the food section. You can over here, select all the meals and here is going to be your tracker. So you can go ahead and track all your macros, all your meals and all your foods using this application. So it's a pretty cool application. And if you want to save it, just simply click on the save button. And over here, you can name it the, you know, whatever you want. So I'll just call it Cal counter and save it. And there we go. Now I can go ahead and find the application back over here. I can find the application back in my dashboard right here underneath applications. I can find it over here. So over here, I can run it, edit it, whatever I want to do, I can do it from here. So, so pretty simple. This is how I do it. This is how you use the Microsoft Power Apps and how you can use it to create your own application. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.